25 kilometers once you cross that limit that's when you <coughs> reach the break even point and then more you drive beyond 125 kilometers when you start realizing the benefits of buying a diesel car because the prices between diesel and petrol there, there was a big gap in 2012 i i believe that was around 25 rupees these days it's hardly 10 or 15 15 i think so that's why uh, now i don't want to buy a diesel car plus with the ngt ban as it is you can't drive it for more than 10 years and on top of that if the situation of pollution continues maybe tomorrow they might say you know they can make it more stricter and say diesel car you forget about 10 years you can only drive it for six or seven years and petrol maybe from 15 years down to 12 or 10 so don't know it it this ban never used to exist earlier so there's high probability that the norms could get more stricter based on how the pollution situation improves or becomes more worse than what it is. So that's the plan. I will be buying a new car, just that I have to make a decision whether to go for that in Jan or wait till April or maybe in between look for another uh, company, maybe Kia, maybe some other brand. Honestly, I'm not interested, but you never know, uh, considering a good offer, a good model, same price brand, why not? But for now, it is still one. So that's the experience I had. Um, so I'm sure people who have cars, and it could be either of them, diesel or petrol petrol if they are completing 15 years i think the same situation will arise so you can always certainly check with these uh, known companies the used car um, used car companies if they provide you a good offer go for it now again the benefit of going through them is they take care of the documentation part so you don't have a hassle because i remember uh, <clears throat> when i sold my uh santro hyundai santro car in 2011 I bought it in 2004 that was my first car <clears throat> there was a challenge I sold it to someone uh, in a near locality but he said he'll take care of the documentation but uh, seemed like the RC was not properly transferred or something and I continued to get I think three chalans even after six seven months I sold my car to him uh, Sometime it was a red light violation or over jumping the signal. Uh, so, some way or the other, it continued to happen. I continued to tell him that, you know, please get the transfer done properly so that I stop getting these uh, chalans. Otherwise, I, I will be hold, I will be held responsible for all, all of those chalans. So, getting done, getting it done through these companies would be definitely a preferred option as long as you get a good offer otherwise uh, whenever you're planning to sell off your car just try to connect with people around your locality uh, because the eventual buyer from another state uh, would definitely offer you a, a better deal because end of the day he or she is not planning to make a profit out of it i mean profit in terms of the the negotiation or reduction of a price here and there that i can understand but definitely not the intent of selling the same car to someone else uh, so they they might provide you a better deal than these companies but like i said if these companies do that well and good uh, preferred choice but if they don't then you have this second option so i think uh, am I missing something? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was difficult, but finally I was able to crack it. Uh, so I only, I'm only i only left with one car, but definitely plans to buy the second one very soon. So for today, that's it. I'll come back with another topic. Take care.